Hello Floss Tube and welcome to my channel Home Sweet Home Handmade. I'm Natalie and this is episode 57 and look who we've got. <laughs> She's back! I'm back! <laughs> so if you haven't seen the episode before, um, this is my sister Emily by the way, um, just nip back. I think it's about three episodes before, I'm not sure. Anyway, she's stitching from Gnome Cottage on Instagram. So today, oh, I'll just say I've I'll put a little video in here of Emily's very cute but very noisy <laughs> puppy Bob. He's gone for a run on the beach, so we're against the clock. We've got loads to show you um, today. I'm going to show you the whips I've been working on, and I've bought a great big bag of stuff. <laughs> Um, we'll see how much we get through that. Em's going to show some whips and then she's got an amazing under the bed box of amazing finishes that she needs to get framed <laughs> or FFO'd. So I'll start and I'll put my whips in my amazing bag that you saw last time. So I've got to be careful because in here... Oh. <laughs> it's a big piece of fabric and there's a certain person's Christmas gift on it so I've got to watch how I <laughs> so, so I'm stitching this one which is heart in hand floral etchings and she's coming out with floral etchings too as well at market so I've started on this one and I'm using threads from Stash and I'm doing it on a blanket <laughs> and it is a Zweigart Vintage Country Cream, that's it, um, 16 count Ada. <laughs> oh, look away. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so I've got a before picture of this one, so I'll pop it in so you can see. And that's where I am at the minute. So, so, yeah, I did do a bit of a booby. I won't point it out, <laughs> but I've fudged it, but it looks all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm moving on to that middle one there. Um, so, yeah, I need to crack on with this because her birthday's in April and I want to get it framed. So you're using the cord for threads? No. Oh. It's DMC, but that lighter pink is Colonial Rose from Classic Colourworks. I just sort of matched up. Well, I didn't really match up. I just went with what I thought I liked. That's good. So, and then on here as well. Careful, careful. That's three projects we've got on that. Yes! <laughs> really, I ought to cut them down, really, aren't I? I wouldn't say that. But I'm not doing that because my <laughs> practice of starting it and not having enough fabric, so I'm not. That's nice. So on Valentine's Day, I started this one, which is um, from Stitch with Coffee on Etsy. It's quite a quick stitch. And I've just got to put two pencils there, and some squiggly lines and a little envelope, and that'll be done. I'm getting a bit of shadow. Is it better that way? No. Oh, I'm in a different location. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I don't know what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, just using threads from Stash. And on, um, I'll link her Etsy shop below. She's the one that has lots of cute cat patterns. So that's that one. Oh, I've got a finish. I've got a finish. I'm keeping in this one that Emily bought me from oh, I never remember. Green Star Quilt. That's it. And the, that's been chewed by <laughs> Percy. <laughs> so I managed to finish my patchwork oh, rabbit wow. Boxing Day box. There. Very nice. Yeah. Enjoyed doing that. What are you going to do with that? frame it I think hmm. or might attempt a flat bold <laughs> the only thing is because I'm, I'm an aid stitch I'm, po I'm pointing out all my wrong bits but 
know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to like, I didn't really want to stitch in the middle. Do you see what I mean? Oh, I'd have right, to yeah. go, I don't think it looks too bad, but oh. I always point out my errors. I wouldn't have noticed that if you hadn't I like said. the colours. Hmm. So. Yeah, I'm pleased to finish that. Is that your first finish of the year? Yes. First finish, so that'll have to go on the pile. I'll get, I've got a bit of a pile now that I need to finish, so I need to sort the contents of that out. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's next? Oh, I'll put a few stitches of this one in this morning while I was waiting to come here. Oh, if I didn't say, we're at Emily's house, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, she's decorated her lounge differently. <laughs> so this is from Pauline of Sobe Bags. Yes, Emily lives at the seaside, so it's nice to come here. So they took the doggy on the beach. So it's that one. And I'm using all the kit threads that are in a mess. Don't look. <laughs> and the white, oh, get off, white Ada, oh no, <laughs> the filming's gone to pot, it's a bit like when I'm in the car driving with my hubby, my driving goes to pot, <laughs> so I did a tiny bit more of that one, that's good, I like the colours, the colours are nice, mm. So I've made a bit of a boo-boo on the fabric again, look. <laughs> what? Well, it really, it's only going to be about to there. But then I suppose I could use that extra, cut Is that, that off. out of the kit? Yeah. Were you meant to have done it that way? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably should have done it that way. Is it going to be white long enough? I don't know. You can't no, do it like that, can you? You've got me doubting. That's not how it works. Yeah, it'd be big enough. Fudge it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really, when I'm starting things, I really need your technical guidance on where to start it. <laughs> right, back in. What else have I got in here? Oh, and the last one is in this. <laughs> Grumpy bag, Harold. And oh yeah, this is the fo no new start because my focus piece um, hasn't been focused on all <laughs> yet for February. That's the knitting circle, the crystal full coverage. But this is my new start. It's the mandala hedgehog. And if you go to their website, just down there, and sign up for their newsletter, you get um, a 10% code emailed to you. So this is how far I've got. I hope I haven't <laughs> started wrong on this as well. And I do like it, and I think it will be really good when it's done, but it's quite a lot of colour changing. So you have to be in the mood to do it, really. Mm. Nice colours. Mm. So that's where I am there. Mm, in the head. Yeah. There's the needle minder somewhere. It's not even in here. Mm. Oh no. No, I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, so I must pick that up. So the focus for next week is the floral etchings. Get at least something done on the knitting circle <laughs> and a bit more on this one. So that's my whips I've been working on. So do you want to show your two whips? Okay. These are amazing. So the director's instructed me. <laughs> Look at this beauty. So we all have seen this a lot of times, but it's Long Dog Sampler's Pandemic. Wow, look at that. Uh, so I'm stitching this with a sulky 12 weight blender balls. 
and it's on a 32 counts by guard. I don't know what the colour is. Have you got the little? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's just show it closer so people can see the variegation. Oh, oh gosh. Spool. Yeah. yeah. It's spool. It's beautiful, isn't it? Of course, I taught her all she knows. <laughs> comes on one of these. Oh yeah, that's handy. So you just pull it off. Look yeah. at the colours on that. Is Dolphin. it like Aurifil? Uh, yeah, the one that we got from the stitching, stitching and stitching show. Yeah. It's the same weight. So how many have you gone through, of those spools have you gone through so far? Two of the bigger ones. Oh. So that's not the biggest one. You can get the two bigger ones than that that I've used. Oh, lovely. And how, what percentage are you at? Uh, not quite 72. Oh. So I'm, I'm going to show you her back. She won't like this, but it's, <laughs> she is so neat. Look at her back. Mm. Goodness me. Got a fine back <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? The thing is with these, it's like you can look at it and then you see something different each time, don't you? I just love it. I love Will you do another one? Definitely. I've already got one on the go, which is crossword, which is totally different. But yeah, I'll definitely do another oh, one. Stunning. And also, it goes really well in this room because <laughs> they've got blue walls. Amazing. So hopefully a finish on that this year. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. What fabric is it? Did you say 32? 32 count. I think it's like silver moon or something. I don't mm. know. Body and As a yeah. yeah. Oh, and is that the bag that you've got in? Yes. Let's have a look that's at that. So big bags as I think I showed oh, this yeah. last time. Yeah, that's lovely. One of Pauline's bags. She's got an Instagram page and she sh sells them on Instagram. So if you click on the notification, and then you'll know when she's posting, and you have to be quick because they're really popular. Didn't you that win was this a giveaway from oh, yeah, Alba, Amanda, yeah, Alba, Alba Stitcher. Stitcher? Wow, that's that one. And then this was your oh, yeah. birthday start in yeah. 2020. Well, I've completely <laughs> failed on mine. So, this is obviously, you know, everybody, this is Hawk Run a year. Horror, Hawk a year. Horror. I'm still on my first block because I'm doing the... What am I doing? Village? Yeah, village. Um, but it is on my Whitby Gone board to finish the first <laughs> block. <laughs> but look at the... I'll hold it up and okay. then you can talk about it. So, so I think we both naively started this. And we've heard this a lot of times. People say, I'll get a block a month done. No, definitely not. There's a lot of stitching in it. But yeah. Which is your favourite block? The May one so far. Hmm. I like the lion. And what are you stitching this on? Is it vintage? Yeah, 20 Vin count vintage country mocker. Goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Lovely. Is this for a finish this year as well? It is, but it won't be. <laughs> Would you do another one of these? No. Not because I haven't enjoyed it, but I tend not to do too many of no, the same. I try and do them. one of everything, so it's sort of ticking it off the bucket list kind of way Gosh. of approaching things. Look at April, that's lovely. It's a lot of stitching in these, isn't there? Yeah. So, very nice. So there's many more, there's many more. I tend to have a monthly focus piece, which I haven't got that out, but this month that's the Modern Folk Embroidery mm. Fruits of Plenty. So I stitched Which on I that. did start and then scrapped, which is usually <laughs> the case. <laughs> uh, Mondays I stitch on a Mill Hill every Monday. Normally focus piece, Tuesday to Thursday, and then mm. whatever takes my oh, fancy. Oh, you do Stocking Sunday, don't you? Stocking Sunday. Yeah as and when hmm. so that's what i've got out to show whips wise oh shall i delve into this pink bag and yeah. then you can delve into your box okay. so i've got quite a lot in this um it's a lorry hole um where did i get it from 
finally got it from Stone Hall, that quarter shop. So, <clears throat> what is this? Oh, Lord. Well, it's a bit... Well, I brought my magazines that I got delivered and then a bit of haul and... Yeah, a bit of haul. Well, I've got quite a lot of haul. So, I seem to be collecting these mm. at the minute. And I've been very good and I've gone through and put <laughs> little post its tabs <laughs> so I'm not rifling through. So the first, I think there was a particular chart in here that was why I bought it. So I, I really like that snowman little cushion. I don't know what year this is from. Let's have a look. Uh, what's that say there? 2001. Oh. Oh, well. And then... This is the one that I bought it for. The Snow Angels. Because uh -huh. it reminded me, there's, I think there's a Dimensions kit. I think it's dimensions. It's very much like this. I like that. They haven't got faces. Well, they have on the chart. Oh, but yeah, I think I would probably, because the, the features on the face are like lines, so I think I would probably. Oh no. <laughs> the tabs are coming <laughs> off. <laughs> Best so, laid plans. I like those as well. They're like one of the ones on my Santa's. Yeah. Which you'll see in a minute. Mm. Um, I like that. Do you like that? Mm. Yeah, I'm well, a sucker for vintage Santa. Like that, it's a tea cosy, but it's a gingerbread house. But I wouldn't use it as a tea cosy, I'd perhaps do a Christmas cushion. Hmm. And I like the look crackers as well. So, there's always something in these books that I really like, <laughs> and I like that one as well. But angel ornament, and they're quite nice as well. So when um, I'm going back to America in October, so I'm going to see if I can get this year's one. Oh. I'll get you one as well. <laughs> um, see if they've got it in Barnes and Noble. So that's that one. And then I got this, I didn't get this book recently. I've had it for ages, but um, Four Seasons in Cross Stitch. This is an oldie as well. Um, you can get this on, if you're in the UK, you can get this from Wilder Books. So I really like that. The dandelion clock. I wouldn't do it in that... Um, I wouldn't put it in that square thing. <laughs> I'd, I'd mount it in an embroidery hoop and then... Uh, what are they called? Barton Studios on Etsy. A bit like modern hoopla. They've got frames that fit your embroidery hoop. So, I like that. Could you do it as a clock though? Yeah, I think mm. I would. Yeah, I think I've got a clock mechanism, mechanism. somewhere in the depths of my stash. <laughs> <laughs> and I quite like that as well. Fox gloves. Mm. They're like ants. Yeah. What's she got? Is it box gloves? Yeah, on the wall. Yeah. That's my friend Anne that I've stitched quite a few things. She's got a lot of cross stitch in her hallway. And then this one is very, like, 90s. <laughs> but I do quite like it. I don't know if I'd ever stitch it. I might do. Isn't somebody running stitch from magazines and books or something? This is the magazine monthly. Isn't yeah, it? it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very that very nineties, but I really like that. And you stitch what you like. 
do like that. So, yeah, you can get that really cheaply for like a couple of pounds. So that's that book. Then, uh, just quickly, I got this month's cross stitcher. Um, what is it? April's edition that came this week with the little mini, is it mini mm -hmm. Molly Mouse free gift? You get this, don't you, mm -hmm. as well? And what have I labelled in here that I like? Did you like this edition or not? I like the cover. That's a part oh, of the that one. series, isn't it? Yeah. Spring. So I put a tab on those Easter cards. I quite like them. They're the rabbits. Yeah. You can make those as little pillows as well. These are not the most easiest <laughs> taps to open. <laughs> and I, oh, re that's amazing, I really like this. Yeah. Do you think you could stick this on Ada? Yeah, why not? That's Back the, stitch might be a bit more tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Diaz. Oh, I like that. And then what else did I pick? One more out of here. Sometimes there's loads of projects that I like. <laughs> <laughs> and then other times there isn't many, but I really like that one. <laughs> there is a um you can send off. They have a page in here where you can send off for threads and things. And they've got this like cushion panel so you can stitch straight onto it. It's nice, it isn't like a 10 count. Yeah, it's an Emma Condon one. Mm. Let me just look. I can find it. I haven't got that on my tap. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Uh, say can't read that's far too twelve strands simply cross stitch your design on the front through the pre-punched holes using twelve strands of stranded 12. cotton <laughs> mm. and sew on the back to complete the cushion well goodness me twelve wow mm, there you go so they have this like a uh, little section with willow fabrics Oh, you can order bits. So that's April's cross stitcher. I did, um, oh, one of the other projects is that dog. Oh, of course, I wouldn't stitch that, but next month, they've got the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's this month's cross stitch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, I did send off for. Oh. The Bothy Threads catalogue. If you go onto their website and just request a brochure, and they'll send you it, and it's got all their designs, including the new ones. So yeah, and it's free. You don't have to pay. So, so I thought I'd bring that along and show it to you. And then I've got World of Cross Stitching, and that is, let me show you that. Oh, I don't know. Go, you need go, go, gadget <laughs> eyeballs on this. April. Well, April. <laughs> so that's that one, and the free gift in here. I think there's two gifts. Do you want this? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was so going to buy that magazine for that. There you go. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, and then you get a butterfly keyring kit. I might actually do that. I don't very often do the kits, but I think I might do that one. And then I've got four tabs in here. I need to speed up because the boys will be back. <laughs> so I quite like that. I don't know if I'd stitch. Well, I do like it. It just intrigued me. It's stitched on plastic. Okay, the plastic aid. Yeah, and then you make it up. 
and you can with world of cross stitching you can get project packs from lakeside with everything you need in it so yeah i like that this is another magazine that sometimes i like loads i quite like the easter designs Yeah, some months you like loads of things and then other months there's not much in there. And then I like this, but I've I've already got this book. So I could do a flip flip through <laughs> next time. What book is that? It's the Enchanted Cross Stitch. Oh gosh, I'm showing her. <laughs> there. But, yeah, that's quite sweet that is. And then the last one is, I quite like those new home cards. We can make those into little pillows. So that's the April edition. The main ones are that, that one there. And the feather. I don't really like that one. Well, what else have I got in here? Oh, talking about bossy threads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. This is from again. the spring collection. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> strawberries and cream. I've got a thing about stitching strawberries. Did you start that other one you bought? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that and thought you'd get that one. And then I think I showed this last time. I don't know. But I was watching um, Carolyn Zook this morning from C. Zook Stitch. It's been in a magazine recently. Yeah, it's been in um, Just Cross Stitch. Mm. And I think I already had this. And there is a stitch long for this, but I'm going to put a photo up here of Percy. Because <laughs> it looks just like him. Mm. And it comes with that, like, splash aider. Oh, yeah, I don't know when I'll start that. Maybe in March. Oh, and I brought this because we were looking on one, two, three yeah, stitch. Yeah. Um, because we're going to start a stitch along, aren't we? Or is it? Or is it somebody else's stitch along? No, it's that. No, I saw the chart on Debbie from Mama Bear Stitchery. I think she's doing the male version. I can't remember what it's called. Fairy mm. tales. Mm. I'll show you next yeah. time. But anyway, we were flicking Have through the... No, <laughs> I've got it. I'll put it on my wish list. <laughs> um, and Emily said she liked this. And I said, oh, I've, I've already got that. And it's called The Secret. I really like that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be an absolute nightmare, I think, to do that sky. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. But no, I just, I don't really like that. I thought it was different. And then the last thing in here is something that I won on eBay, and Emma's going to laugh at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is very old. I don't know what. Oh, no, it's not 1902. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's 11 count. Wow. Yeah. How many strands do you use of that? Three, I should think. Yeah. More. More. I have, the reason I picked this up is because I have got another kit that is her and, is it another, a boy or a girl, on a beach. It's a bit like the scene from... The Shell Seekers, my favourite book by Rosamund Pilcher. And then I saw this. I'd never seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I really like that. And it, obviously, Emily's job will be to do this. Because <laughs> I'm, I don't like doing that. Bit. <laughs> so, I don't know when I'll start this. Maybe in the summertime. But it'll be quite big, won't it? Yeah. It doesn't look like 11 count, does it? No. 
maybe you go over two holes to read the instructions. Mm. <laughs> Don't tend to read instructions. No. So yeah, so that's everything out of my bag. So right now on to the uh, box of goodies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Emily's stitching is amazing and yes. she likes to stitch, she says, for the process and not for the finishing, but I'm trying to encourage her to finish so that she can have a bit more out on show because they're too nice really to be hidden away. Okay. So I'm not listening but <laughs> <laughs> this She's one trying. this one will be framed yeah. this year. So can you remember what pattern this is? Is it, it a cooler design? I think so and I think you can buy it as either um as a PDF on their uh, website. Can't see but it was out it. of you know, uh, I think it was World of Cross Stitch you know Cross Stitch Gold back in the day. Look at that. So Dad loved this one, didn't he? Yeah. How long were you stitching this for? Um, not as long as I think I would be if I did it now. It was only the second thing I ever stitched. No, these on a roller that can roll them up. I like that one there in the oval. It's lovely. And you said you were going to make <laughs> it into a wall hanging. Yeah, so this obviously, yeah. the margin is where my inexperience shows with that well, one. That's what but... I do now. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. I mean, that is too beautiful and nice to be un under the bed box. So that will be done as a wall hanging and out this Christmas, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Keep her to that, because <laughs> we'll have her back before Christmas to show it. And then I thought I'd get this one out because oh. you all know and love and remember Betsy. Betsy Cat, there she is. There she love. is. There, on top so, of the laundry. I can't even remember. This, this was is, out of Cross Stitcher magazine. This is Little Dove Designs, I isn't so, it? Yeah. So there was, I've personalised it only slightly, but we've got Ooh. a camper van, so yeah. the middle one... I've changed the colour. I've that's changed the colour to that one there. That's that. oh middle, middle, old oh, top, middle, bottom. That one. <laughs> that's Walter, the caravan, camper van, and then Betsy. No camper van, not camper. Not camper. <laughs> that's Betsy on the washing, and then and then Alfie. Alfie was there. our dog that we lost hmm, two, three years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah look at that. I like the terrace. Oh my goodness, that middle block was horrendous. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Why? I just thought that sea was never going to end. And I realised that I'd fully stitched the sky and it was only meant to be a half stitch, but so I had to keep going. This is a seasonal piece. They do spring and... Mm. And I've got those, chart. they were all in their magazine. And this is in that, this is that like splash linen, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I love this one. Beautiful. Look how neat her stitches are. I have actually got a frame for that. Well, that's it. <laughs> Get it framed. Because summer is your season, yeah. isn't it? So you need a summer wall to yeah. get you through the winter. Yes. It's not my favourite time of the year, the winter. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Right. Next. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is unplanned. We're yeah. delving in. But look, I mean, show that. Look, look, all those beauties. Keep going. The okay. boys aren't back yet with Bob Dog. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember you doing so this. So this was a lockdown, lockdown project. This is Village Quaker by Jardin Privé. Look at that. And what did you stitch this on? 20 count, I think. Just a mm. white. Lovely. I love the colours. I, I mean, that would go nice in here as well. Them back. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and did you use the core for? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. It's nice. I like that one. Yeah, I like the colours of that one. Yeah. I should do something with that, really. I mean, you can even just stitch that middle bit, and if you didn't want to do the whole, you know, with like Quakers, you can just pull bits out, can't mm -hmm. you, and stitch them. I forgot about that one. You know that cushion that I stitched you? Mm. Sorry, I can't remember her name. <laughs> she contacted me on Instagram and said, uh, the beginning bit of your video, you showed a cushion with black 
black and grey buildings. And she asked me where it was from. And I thought, oh, oh. So I went back through all my photos on Instagram. And I think I gave it to you for Christmas 2017, I think it was. Was it? No. But anyway, she, 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 I told her it was out of Cost Stitcher magazine. And it was in the December 2014 issue. Oh. So... Oh, I thought you meant the designer had contacted you. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm famous. <laughs> no, a lovely viewer. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're pulling at random here. So mm -hmm. I need to do this one as well, because I stitched this one for Nan. Yeah. For our Nan, who sadly is no longer with us. And she, every Christmas, Grandad would buy her a poinsettia. So that's poinsettia house. What is it? Oh, Little House Needleworks. Yeah, so. yeah, cause you've given it to me. Yeah. Haven't you? And what's the house stitch with? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two definites for finishing. And I've got something. I think oh, I've got a board it? I can finish that. What's on. it on? A fabric flare. Lichen. Is that like? Is that how you say that? Yeah. <laughs> Lichen is from um, um, that vampire movie. Oh, God, we're going off on a tangent here. <laughs> Underworld, that's it, with Kate Beckinsale. And Lycan's a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Swiftly on. Okay. And Emily's love of summer also extends to the beach. Look at that. And this is a mm -hmm. cricket collection. Mm -hmm. And you stitch this on... Good look. Chromatic alchemy... No. <laughs> is it Zephyr? I don't know. Uh, oh. Yeah. Zephyr. Mm. It's like a green, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. What are you gonna, how are you going to finish that? I think a cushion, a long, thin cushion. Yeah. I think. It's a shame we don't have Hobby Lobby in this country, because yeah. I remember going down and looking... Oh, I haven't done that, have I? No. What? No. Oh. Um, and they've got so many wood things that you can back things on. I put my oh brain's not working today. The little house series, mm. the hive, the one. honey one. Yeah, honey of a tiny town. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the new one, Frosty? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think if um, I've got some of the seasonal ones, not the month ones particularly, but yeah. I think. If I was going to swap it out, I would mount it on something. But yeah. because it's, yeah. we might even put that, it in Walter. Yeah, that's yeah a long like bolster yeah. cushion um, to go in Walter. Camper van. Um, yes. Are we still going? Yeah, keep going. Okay. This is another uh, another lockdown finish. Oh, I like this one. Oh, sorry, that's all my eBay notifications. <laughs> you've won, you've won. <laughs> so this is a prairie schooler, which is... Oh, ride by the... Oh, no. Which is riding by? No. <laughs> this is a Halloween one anyway. <laughs> it's lovely. And the fabric is another chromatic alchemy, and it is... What? I don't know. Make of it <laughs> what you will. <laughs> 35 count Murano. 32, isn't it? Is it? Oh. Yeah, 32. Oh, oh my goodness, Sorry. she's bidding on oh, what? Isn't she? I'm not bidding on any of these. <laughs> this is my That's what list. she tells us. <laughs> <laughs> All these finishes, she needs some new starts. Um, um, hmm. Oh, you're doing this one. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this one. And Laura, you're doing this one as well, aren't you? I stitch birds, Laura. I need to cut that down because there's loads of fabric on that. This is from Alicia Paulson, Posy Gets Cozy, and it's the language of flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Where did I pull that out? It is beautiful. It's just a lot of counting because yeah. you've got a lot of space that's unstitched. Yeah. So all of this is a lot of counting. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I 
I like those, um, I think they're called Bleeding Heart. The sheep. Beautiful finish yards. Yeah, because I've got a gazillion DMCs in with that product. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of threads, wasn't there? That's nice fabric, what is that? It was a crafty kitten, I don't trade any longer. I could definitely do some smalls on that. Yes. This is another one that you haven't finished. Oh, yeah. I know. This is on my... Well, um, I'm calling it my year of whip, so I've nominated five projects that I'm definitely going to finish this year, and this is one of them. So this is Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread, and it's Coffee First. We were stitching this as a stitch along with lovely Amy from Amy Loves Toads and that's the little spoon. Didn't I get you that? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That was locked down Sunday Zoom stitching together wasn't it? Yeah. That was my attempt at coffee tea dyeing it and I baked it in the oven. I burnt that's it nice. a bit. But... How are you going to finish that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What we'll do is one of the videos we'll do is we'll come back later in the year. Well, she'll come back before then and she'll show the finishes of these. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> I need to finish that one to be fair as well, to go with the other cushion I did for that. So is this heartstring? Heartstring samplery. And what's the... I oh, think it's the handprint on my, my heart. heart. I like the thread. What, what colour is that? Mm. I don't know. It looks like cranberry. No. Gen no. I've never had that. Mulberry. No. That's more of a brown. If you know what this is, <laughs> <laughs> put it in the comments. I think it is definitely the called for one. Yeah. It's lovely though, isn't it? So I need to do that to go with the, with the one over there. Yeah. Nice. I didn't. I forgot you got all these. <laughs> Um, next. Oh. Well, this is another Sunday. Oh, Sunday, yes. Sunday Zoom yeah. stitch. I've got mine framed of this, so oh, I will put sure. a picture in here of my frame. I've got it in a chunky frame. It's on my bedroom wall. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a freebie mm -hmm. from Not Forgotten Farm, I think it was. Yeah, be calm. I like the pot. It's nice. That would make a nice little cushion for the craft conservatory. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Um, maybe you need to nominate definite finishes oh. for this year. So the Santas. Did you do this one as well? You did, didn't you? That was a... Oh no, I've got this. This is Brenda Gervais with my needle and thread Blessed be. Oh, you gave me the chart. I don't know. What's it stitched on? Yeah. Oh, I don't mm. know. I've got it written down somewhere, but I was totally ill prepared for this today. That's lovely. There's another lot That will go nice in here as well. In a dark frame. Very nice. Are we done yet? Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Till we're here, them and on the driveway. Another, another stitch along it. Oh yeah, that I oh. that I didn't do. Oh. Well, started. This is caterpillar cross stitch. Pfft, can't remember. How did you stitch on this opalescent fabric? It didn't actually bother me. Really, beast. When are you going to make this into a cushion? <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I, um, what's the word, UF, F, no, UFO'd mine, <laughs> got rid of it, ditched it. We're not very good at stitch lines, no. are we? We need to accept that, but they get finished in the end. No. Well, or we UFO'd. Um, yes, this one, oh, I forgot about that one. Yonks old, but I, yeah. That's nice. Where's this from? Is this a cross stitch? Yeah, I think so. 
If if you want to specifically know about the any of these, and we haven't mentioned what it is or anything, just pop it in the comments and we'll try and find out. That would be nice for the camper van as well. There's a cushion. Yeah. Mm. That was my intention to make it into a cushion. Mm -hmm. uh, Temperature tree. Yeah. Okay, yes boss. So this is from... Mm -hmm. oh, what's her name? Oh, Stitching Mommy. That's a temperature tree. Just thinking what year it is. I would say 2021. So you can see that <coughs> where we live, <laughs> <laughs> here in Lincolnshire, we have more cooler days than hot. Which is okay by me. Not by me. <laughs> no, you like blistering mm. hot, don't you? Whereas I prefer autumn, really. Oh, the sun. What's this on? It's the blue, isn't it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> nice. Did you manage to keep up with this or did you have to stitch a few branches at a time? No, I was miles behind. I think I did finish it in the year, but I never really... Oh, yeah, it's 2021. I put the year on it. Oh. Um, I tended to do a week on a Sunday. Yeah. So I did all the week's leaves each Sunday. It would be interesting to see with global warming. <laughs> like in about a decade, it might all be red. Uh, these ones. Oh, yeah. This is um, Little Dove Designs, isn't it? Yeah, I've got lots of in here. have got that many finishes. <laughs> <laughs> so Bernie from Hockey and Stitching is doing these. Oh. So that's the winter one. And Little Dove Designs have got a new stitch along. I can't remember what it's called. They're back. Oh, they're back. We'll just the show these ones. and then we'll have to <laughs> and grab it the phone to my eBay. <laughs> I like that one. They're back. <laughs> and then this is and the then summer. That's the summer one. Oh, that's nice. I remember you doing this one. Right, well. so there's still plenty more beauties in the box, so <laughs> when I come here and we film again, um, we can show some more. So, But she's definitely going to finish the Santas this year, and what, maybe one of the camper van cushions, so... <laughs> yeah. That's my orders. <laughs> yeah, that's your stitchy finishing <laughs> orders, so... So thanks so much for coming and spending some time with us today. Um, I will get this edited and uploaded. It'll probably be tomorrow because today it's Sunday the 19th. I don't know. Middle of February anyway. So so this will be up tomorrow. So, um, so until I see you next time, that will be back at home with the kitties causing chaos. Um, stay happy, healthy and happy stitching. Bye. Bye.